we have relations and functions. So let's start. First, we're going to define what relation is. When we say relation, it is defined as a set of ordered pairs. And an ordered pair is given in the form x, y. So we have x, comma, y for our ordered pair. We call the first coordinate of this ordered pair as the domain. And the second coordinate is the range of the relation. When we say domain, this is our x values. Then when we say range, it is our y values. A relation can be displayed in the form of a graph. So we have here sample of graph showing different points. So each point represents an x and y value. So we have here domain and range of the graph. And also it can be represented using a table. We have values of x in a row and values of y in different row. Or using a mapping diagram. So meaning we have cluster of values here for domain and range and using a line so we can get the domain and the range of an ordered pair. Now, what is a function? So ano ang kaibahan ng function? Pag sinabing relation lang. A function is a relation with a given condition that no two ordered pairs have the same first coordinate, meaning the domain or the x values. So ang condition natin, no two ordered pairs have the same first coordinate. Wala dapat magkamukhang x values. We can also say that a function is a well-behaved relation. Ito yung matino no, na relasyon. Taog na yan. Kumbaga, ito yung ano. Sa isang relasyon, di ba? Walang third party. No. So, yun ang function. So, let's have an example of determining the domain and range of a relation and classifying whether the given is a function or not. Number one, I will be giving you a set of ordered pairs. Let's say we have A with the following coordinates, negative 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 6, 4, 9. Then the domain, this is our x values, so we have negative 1, positive 2, positive 3, and positive 4. And for our range, that will be your y values, we have 2, then positive 3, positive 6, and positive 9. Now, 1 is paired with 2, or negative 1, the other is paired with 2, 2 is paired with 3, 3 with 6, 4 with 9. So, meaning we have unique x values for each y value. So, therefore, this ordered pair represent a function. Okay, next. Number two, given a table. So, in a table, the x values and y values are listed in separate rows. Each column represents an ordered pair. So, I have here a row for x values. Negative 2, 0, 2, 2, and 6. Another row for y values, 0, 1, 3, 5, and 8. So, sabi dito, each column represents an ordered pair. So, we have here first a second column. Negative 2, 0, unang pair natin. 0, 1, pangalawang pair. 2, 3, 2, 5, and 6, 8. So, the domain, that was our x values. We have negative 2, 0, 2, so 2 ulit, kaya isang tulong meron tayo doon, and then 6. Then for range natin, we have 0, 1, 3, 5, and 8. So okay, karap natin sila, no? i-match natin. So negative 2 is for 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 5 ulit, 
6, sa 8. So, we can see that 3 and 5. So, meron silang common na 2 sa x value. So, common yung 2 nila. So, ibig sabihin, may magkamukha tayong first coordinate or x value. So, ito ay not function. Next, I will be giving a, a mapping diagram. So, the mapping diagram shows domain and range as separate cluster of values. So, to match is ordered pairs, so a line is drawn from domain to range. So, ito, meron tayo ditong domain. Ito naman ang ating range. So, yung negative 1, squared with 11, 0, positive 8, 2, negative 2, 4, positive 5, 7, negative 2. Okay, that's not it. So, domain will be negative 1, 0, 2, 4, 7, and the range is negative 2, 5, 8, 11. So, this is a function because each y value has different x values. So, we have here a function. Another one. So, this is our domain. This is our range. Negative 1 for negative 3. 0 for negative 1. And then 2 for positive 10. 4 is for negative 4 and positive 3. So, the domain is negative 1, 0, 2, and 4. Range, we have negative 4, negative 3, negative 1, 3, and 10. So, this, is one, this one is not a function. Since 3 and negative 4 has the same first coordinate, which is 4. Number 4, given a graph with corresponding points. So, a graph can also be used to represent a relation between the values of x and y. Okay, so we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 points. So first, to yon, we have here negative 6 ang x niya, ng y niya na is 0. Kaya meron ka dyang negative 6, 0. So para dito. So we have negative 6, 0. Next, So, ito ay from x. Yan ay negative 4. Pag tinapat natin, tapat mo ngayon sa y, yan ay 6. Kaya meron tayo dyang negative 4, 6. Next point. Ito naman, ang x nyan ay negative 2. Ang y naman nyan ay negative 2 din. Then we have negative 2, negative 2. Next point. So, yan ay nasa tapat ng origin. So, ang x nyan ay 0. Pero ang y nyan ay 4. Kaya meron ka dyan 0, positive 4. For our last point, ito yun. So, yan ay nakatapat sa x na 3. Kitapat yung y na 1. Kaya meron tayo dyang 3, 1. Then, power domain, negative 6, negative 4, negative 2, 0, and 3. Sa range natin, 0, uh, negative 2, na, negative 2, 0, 1, and we have 4 and then 6. So, ang negative 6 ay kay 0. Negative 4 naman sa 6. Negative 2, negative 2. 0 sa positive 4. 3 naman ay sa positive 1. So, ito ay isang 
function. Si bawat y value ay may pagkakaibang x values. Now, let's proceed to the vertical line test. So, sabi, the characteristics of a function uh, were determined by the so-called vertical line test. So, by sketching the graph of a given relation, we can determine if it is a function or not by, by drawing a vertical line in the area covered by the graph. So, we're going to draw a vertical line within the area covered by the graph. And if the line crosses the graph in more than one point, so the relation is not a function. See. Suppose we have a straight line. So ito yung graph niya, a straight line. If, uh, if we're going to draw a vertical line, let's say dito muna tayo, Sa part na yan, vertical line pa rin. Sa pa ulit. Draw ulit tayo ng vertical line. Sa pa. So sabi dito, if the line, now the vertical line crosses the graph in more than one point, ito pa lang siya not function. So dito, pag chinike natin, yun, one point lang dito sa unang graph na yan, sa unang line. Ito rin ay one point. One point lang din. Yan lang din tumama yung vertical line natin. Yan din. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay function. Kasi ang line natin ay nag-cross lang sa isang point ng ating graph. Next. So, given a curve, throw tayo na ang vertical line. Damihan natin ang vertical line lagay natin. Pa. Yun. Pag chinike natin, so dito, dyan lang siya nag-cross. Isa lang. Ito rin. Dito rin nag-cross yung vertical line. Dito rin. Isa lang din. Ito, yan lang din. Isa lang din dito. Sa dyan, sa dyan. So, sabihin, kaya isang part may ligay yung vertical line, mag-cross siya sa isang point lang. So, ito pa rin ay function. Next, okay, draw tayo ng vertical line. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, o apat. So dito, yun siya nag-cross isang point lang. Isang point lang din dito. Ito rin, isang point. Isang point dito. Pero pag ito dito, gagawa tayo ng vertical line ulit. Isa pa doon. So, nag-cross yan, isa, dalawa, tatlo. Ito rin. So, first point, second point, third point. So, ibig sabihin, may part ng graph natin na nag-cross yung line in more than one point. So, naging tatlo pa. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay not function. So, yun ang isang way to determine a given graph kung siya i-function o hindi by drawing a vertical line. Pag nag-cross sa so more than one point, so yun ay hindi na function.